<clears throat> We're live on YouTube just for you. Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us. And I hope you're ready to do business tonight. Remember, we've only got an hour. Time is very, very tight. Welcome back, though. Those of you who joined us this morning, what a fabulous stream. 10 o'clock sharp in the morning, 8 o'clock sharp in the evening. Although I think we had a few seconds over tonight because uh, we've just been joined by everyone on Facebook. Fantastic stuff, and we like that. Dinky do, Scotty, says the wonderful J Dog Gaming. Dinky do, J Dog. I hope all is well tonight, and all will be well, and all manner of things shall be well. Absolutely. Has everybody liked the stream? First things first. John Jones, good evening, Scotty. Hello, Scotty, says Caden McElroy. Hello, Caden. Hello, everyone, says the wonderful Gordon Robertson. Ah, you didn't forget tonight, Gordon. That is outstanding. You remembered to come and join us, and we welcome you. Lord McHugh's watching. Daryl McMillan's watching. Graham Loudon. Dinky-doo, lovely to have you all with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Eric Fraser's watching. Dinky-doo, Eric. Good to have you with us tonight. Fantastic stuff. And a very, very warm welcome. May the force be with you. Luke Skywalker, thank you. But we'll make that the very last Star Wars reference tonight. If there's any more, then any Star Warrors get banned because we are very much a peaceful stream. So there we are. But the force is definitely with us. There is no doubt about that. Chris Wilmot, Dinky Doo, good evening, Scotty. After a week without internet, it's great to be back watching your show and participating. Chris, this is the great beauty of the Scotty McClue live streams. We can participate. Dinky Doo, has everybody liked the stream? I need 10 likes right now. So 10 of you look down and think, oh, no, I haven't liked it. I'll like it now, not a problem. So there we are. So I need 10 of you to do that. Like, 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 do like. Fantastic stuff. You'll see it down at the bottom left-hand side. Wonderful Catherine Raven has joined us. Scotty, I hope you've had a nice day. Chris, um, I'm sorry you are without internet. Am I banned, says Stephen Kerr. I don't think so, Stephen. If you are banned, you wouldn't be on, you see. So there you are. So lovely to have you with us and welcome. The only thing I've just announced, because we had Luke Skywalker on, and I've just said that's the very last Star Wars on here tonight, there's a ban on any more Star Wars. Check out two websites, one's called Restream, the other's called StreamYard. They allow you to multi-stream, but from one device instead of multiple. I'll check that out, J-Dog, you're a smart man. I thank you. So there we are, I'll just put the two down. Wonderful, yes. And that would make a big difference to everyone's life, wouldn't it? You are so good to me, J-Dog, and I thank you. There we are. That's why we were so upset at the um, false one last night. Dinky-doo, then. Dinky-doo, Stephen. Welcome, welcome, I say. Everybody here on Facebook. Hello from Shettleton, says Daryl. Shettleton. Jim Fank is watching. Top man, Jim. Lovely to have you with us. He has a wonderful, wonderful YouTube um, channel so Jim Fank will get on to that see some brilliant brilliant footage of the west of Scotland sorry Scotty got to dash for Dindins lovely leftover spaghetti bolognese in wraps if anyone comes on in the next 30 minutes they're trying to imitate me good so we look at the time the time is now five past eight if there's anybody on before 8 30 purporting to you see what I just did there purporting to be you then we will bin them Steve Max watching Dinky Doo. Steve, good to have you with us. And um, I got your message. I'm a bit maxed at the moment, unfortunately. So there you are. Like the face mask. Do you like it, John? There we are. Excellent. Hi from Fourth Valley Radio. Hi, Steve. Welcome, welcome. I hope things are going well for you. I wish you well. I see Jim Higgins is watching. Stuart Hotton. Uh, wonderful. Dinky do, dinky do, Stuart. Have I got it right, Stuart Hotton? Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. Tell Mrs. McClue I said good evening. I'll do that, Glenn. Hang on. Darling! <clears throat> Darling! Yes! Um, yes, Glenn says hello. Do you remember Glenn from this morning? Glenn, yes, he's in Sheffield. He's from Sheffield. That's the one, yep, and living in the Midlands now, yes, but in Sheffield at the moment. 
That's it. Yep. Okay, I'll tell him. Yep, she says, hi, Glenn. Fantastic stuff. We love that. There we are. Hi from Mrs. McClue to everybody to say dinky do. There we are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, Gordon, says the wonderful Catherine Raven. Excellent stuff, Gordon. You are very welcome. More likes, guys. I need another dozen of these right away. Everybody watching can't have possibly liked the stream. So we need you to like the stream. Scotty, you look like Grandpa Brun. Do you know what a relief? I was just thinking that I might get the part of Grandpa Brun. How good would that be? Fantastic. Nicola Jimison says, Hello, the wonderful David Lafferty has joined us. Hello, David. Everybody, welcome, welcome to our live stream. Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. Fantastic. So glad you could join us. There we are. And don't just dip in and out. Come and stay for the full hour because it passes in a flash. It's wonderful. Hope you and Mrs. McClure are well. And Johnson. Yes, Johnson's still with us. Johnson. Johnson. Yes. Uh, Glenn from Sheffield says hi. And could you bring another iced tea? Thank you, Johnson. Yes, he says, very good, sir. Very good. There we are. A live stream. Yes, Minong Fatchy. Min is it Minong Fatchy or Minon Face? There we are. Minon Fatchy is the Latin, isn't it? Fast Pat's here. Oh, you're fast tonight, Pat. Fast Pat's with us, everybody. Take you to John Gallican, John Boyle. John Ball says, Captain Bursai. Thank you, John. Very kind of you. John Gallagher says, hi. Hello to you, John. Lovely to have you with us, by the way, and dinky-doo. Fantastic. Mother's is marvellous, guys. It really is superb. Robert Scringer. Good evening, Scotty. Do you know Edinburgh had two statues of dogs? Greyfriars Bobby. We've seen that one. And do you know? I've never heard of a dog called Do You Know? Yes, Do You Know? Maybe he was of a certain breed and people said, Do you know what he is? So they called him Do You Know? There we are. Absolutely incredible. Just the Scottish pronunciation, please. Favourite pie, Scotty. It's got to be a Scotty McClue meat pie. Uh, meat and tatty, meat and potato, or um, a vegetarian lattice slice and a rich chicken sauce. I think, without a shadow of doubt, Scotty, you brightened up my evenings. I'm in Jane's bad books tonight, so I'm glad to have your show with the lovely people on to cheer me up. Fast Pat, you know you are very, very welcome here anytime. Dinky do, everybody, to Fast Pat, who's just joined us. John Boyle says, Dinky do, Scotty, later, bud. Yes, do you have to dash? The wonderful Thomas Speedon is on. Good evening. Evening, Tam. Fast Pat's on YouTube. Come and join us on the YouTube channel as well. Hi, Scotty, listening to eating a nice steak baguette and potato wedges. You had that last night, Johnny. You need to vary your diet. There we are, steak and potato wedges. Good for you, mind you. His name's Burn. His name's Bum. He sits in the West End of Princess Street Gardens, a gift from San Jose in California. Bum the dog, is that what he's called? How very interesting. I wonder how he got that name, Robert. What is the history? Uh, what's the story about the wee dog that slept and wouldn't leave his master's grave? Catherine Raven. That's Greyfriars Bobby. Yes, an old jock. He was a wee sky terrier. An old jock had him. And the uh, old jock was a wheel Kent Edinburgh character in, I think, the 1860s. An old boy with Scotty McClue mitts on and a bonnet and uh, the full bit, old Jock. And when old Jock died, Bobby would not leave his grave. And Mr. Trail, the innkeeper, was Mr. Trail the innkeeper or the cemetery keeper? I can't remember. Mr. Trail used to put him off the grave at night. He said, go on, away you go. And he would get back in, so there you are. And all the rest of it. Stephen Kerr, uh, not funny. You're heading for a ban with that sort of carry on. So there you go. You need to be very careful. And uh, Minong Fache in Latin, uh, you need to watch as well. So there we are. So that's the carry on there. And uh, Stephen Gow, we don't like that. So less of that. So there you are. So Stephen, what we'll do, we'll stake Stephen's comment out. Do we put him, do we ban him? 
or do we uh, put them in time out? Uh, so let us know what we want to do with Stephen. Do we put him in time out or give him a lifetime ban for cheeking up? Uh, when times get tough, your show is the perfect form of escapism, says Chris Wilmot. I know when I've not been having the best of times with things, the best of things. Your shows have been brilliant. Pick me up. Thank you for all that you do for us. Chris Wilmot, you are more than welcome, sir. It's a privilege for me to talk to you. Let's have it straight. So there we go. I've told a hundred to tell a hundred, Scotty, says the wonderful Nicky Graham, and sends a couple of kisses. Fiona Summers has joined us. Uh, Nicola Jimison says, do you think the quarantine's going to get lifted? I need a holiday. Do you know, Nicola, I was thinking today I could actually do with a wee break, a wee holiday. You know, maybe a week in Rothsey or something like that, maybe down to Danoon. The Fast Pat says, hello, me non fat uh, Stephen Kerr, we don't like it. Yes. Oh, Bless, thanks for telling me, Scotty. We Grey Friars, Bobby, lovely wee guy, Fidelity. And he stayed on his master's grave because that's where Jock was. Sorry, I don't want to go to my Bobos, says Stephen Kerr. Right, well, behave then, and you can stay up. Bannum says, me non fatche, our min and face. Bannum says, Glenn, uh, for life, for disgusting patters, says Minin. Uh, time out for Stephen. Next time it might be a ban. I think Sir Gordon Robertson. I think we'll show clemency and leniency because we are decent people. But if there's even a hint, a whiff of any cheeky chat, bang, out he goes. There we are. Remove the trash, Scotty. No room for idiots. You're quite right, Jim Wilson. Absolutely. Nicola Tong, good evening. Scotty McClue, good evening, Nicola. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Michael Yule's watching. Hugh Reed is with us tonight on the Facebook Live. Fantastic. Now, Nicola, Nicola Jimison, in answer to your question, there's talk about should we quarantine English people coming north to Scotland? Very interesting. I noticed that was the chat in the media today. So there were, I don't want to be harsh on our English people, but I mean, viruses don't recognize nationalities. Nicola, let's be serious. You don't need a holiday. You want a holiday, says Minon Fatchi. Cheers, Gordon and Fast Pat, says uh, Stephen. So Stephen's got a reprieve. There you are. He's got a reprieve. Um, I'm sure you could wait, says Minon. I don't know what you did, Stephen, but I think you had another chance. Gordon Robertson, you're a very reasonable man. Do you know what I mean? You're very fair. I'm missing my caravan holidays on the borders, Scotty. What a relief you will be. The borders are beautiful. Roughly, what kind of area are we talking? What a relief. There we go. Right, come and join us. Get sharing, guys, on both channels. Um, Bum was a San Jose town dog in San Jose in the 1890s. Edinburgh loaned them a bust of Greyfriars Bobby, and they reciprocated Robert Scrimger. I knew nothing of this. I am so grateful to you. This show just breeds knowledge. Nothing breeds like success. So there we are. Um, Jim Wilson, dinky do lovely to have you with us. John Gallagher says a lifetime ban. Uh, remove the trash, Scotty. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. We've got Danny McNeil, Stephen McDougall, Michael Yule, all watching dinky do. So that's fantastic. Craig Tara is up there with the best. Fast Pat, what a top man you are. Cheers, guys. I accept my yellow card. Good man, Stephen. You took it like a man. Fantastic. Dinky do, Scotty. I think we should quarantine anyone entering the country. Gordon Robertson, I think you've got a point. I mean, the virus obviously does not recognize nationalities. You know, it's not that sort of thing. Good evening, sir, says the wonderful Neil O'Gormley. I reciprocate Neil O'Gormley. Good evening, sir. So, Neil, lovely to have you with us. Good idea. It's not like it's a cold. It's a killer virus. Catherine Raven, never a truer word was speak. So there we are. Fantastic. Stephen McDougall's joined us on the Facebook. Thank you. Fantastic. Dinky-doo, everybody. Come and join us. 
Uh, I think the rest of the UK should follow Scotland's lead in regards to the reopening of pubs, restaurants and other businesses. Scotland's caution and patience should be admired. I think most of the UK, of four countries, would quite like to be um, governed from Holyrood, to be quite honest, because she has done an outstanding job. Um, Jav Salim's watching. The wonderful Dermot Scotty McVicker is watching in Canada. I thank you, sir. I thank you for your kind comments about Uncle Archie. I send strength and health to you and to your lovely lady and to your beautiful dogs. So there are, and to your beautiful home by the lake, which I hope I can visit in my lifetime. Uh, Jav Salim, shout out today for Ashe and Calabai. Jav Salim, not a problem. Welcome, welcome. Scotty, best thing to come out of England is a train coming to Scotland, says Johnny Garvey. Johnny, you're harsh, harsh but fair. So there we go. Uh, right, so what relief says Coddingham. Coddingham or Coldingham. Coddingham near Eyemouth. We know Eyemouth well. Have you ever heard of Guns Green Hill? So there you are. Good afternoon, Scotty and everyone else. Jonas McSpurin. Tell us again where you're calling from. We love to have people from all over the world. The wonderful Ian Quinn, dinky doing. Good evening, Scotty. Lee Fly, evening to and watery. Very kind of you, Ian. Wonderful Ian Quinn. A man who, what Ian Quinn does not know about uh, maritime matters is not actually worth knowing. Isn't that fantastic? There you go. Uh, I think Nicola should be the UK Prime Minister, says Gordon Robertson. Yes, but we don't want to lose her from Scotland. So there you are. Yes, quarantine for the English, says Ian429. Pat, what's your top speed? Minon Fatche or Minon Face. Um, Fast Pat does 55, I think. Is that right, Fast Pat? Do you do 55? There we are. Gordon Robertson, dinky do Ian Quinn, Ian429. First part, what's the setup? I mean, I've had people tailgating me in huge rigs when I'm doing the legal limit of 50 on a part of the motorway, and um, they tailgate me all the way. And I, I, I don't want to stop to shout, get back, you cycle. But, because, um, I mean, he couldn't stop if I had to slam on, you know what I mean? If a squirrel ran out or a weasel or something. And um, I'm just thinking, they then, when they can do, overtake. So are they not breaking the law, I would say? Ian 49, good evening, and Dinky Doo, so the wonderful Ian Quinn. Dinky Ian Q's as Lee Fly. Dinky Doo Ian Quinn's as Ian 429. Fantastic. Everybody's great each other now. Same here to quarantine English and anyone else too, says Lee Fly 85, Paul Francis Carroll. We'll catch up soon, matey. Paul Francis Carroll, the finest organist in the world. We may well do. Pardon the lateness, Scotty. Good evening. This is the wonderful Robert Rovers. Paul Francis Carroll, I hope you are staying safe and well because you're a very precious person. Carol Bonds is watching. Dinky do. David Turner is watching. So there we are. Fantastic. Johnny Garvey. Scotty, I've been told in a kilt what lets you down your verrucous veins. No, they're not verrucous, they're varicous. I think they've got you there with the, with the predictive text. Lol, you're looking good. So there are you looking good, John Garvey, you top man. Fantastic. Uh, Boris Johnson been to Dudley today. Shame I wasn't there. Oh, Glenn, yes, you missed a treat. He was on a he was on a dump truck too as well. Glenn Peacock, do you have a canvas of John Major in your hall? Says Minon Fatche. Uh, I know a lot regarding Marmite matters. Beat that, Ian. Minon Face, very good. Uh, Tambo B. good evening. And Dinky Doo, Scotty, from East Kilbride. Good evening, Tambo. Scotty, what kind of Honda did you drive? I had a Prelude. No, I didn't actually drive one water relief. I had friends who had them. The Accord. Beautiful, very, very quiet, lovely, lovely. Uh, no, Minin, I don't have a canvas of John Major. Were you wanting one, Minin? We'll see if we can get you one off eBay. There well, I like John Major, top man, actually, because I went to hear him speak at a dinner. Fantastic. There we are, wonderful. 
and uh, what have you. Uh, and they had to go and check me up. Security had to check me up. I used to drive a maestro. Was that a talking maestro, Minon? So there we are. Uh, I always hoped Vauxhall would bring out a laughing cavalier. Um, he liked, uh, yes, yes. He liked all sorts of people. No need for that. Thank you, Minon. So there we are. Um, but uh, no, very, very good man. Great speaker as well. Just a, what I liked about John Major was he was just a natural guy. He didn't have any ears and graces. You know what I mean? He was just a nice man. <laughs> That's basically it. Uh, Gordon Robertson, uh, dinky do. Gordon Robertson has joined us on the Facebook Live. How fantastic is that? Uh, right, we haven't shared a thing, guys. We've been on for 21 minutes. I remember the spitting image when they used to do a John Major with the peas and other celebs. Yeah, they had them totally grey. They called them the grey man. They had them totally grey. I adored spitting image. Was there not talk of it coming back? Absolutely adored it. I loved when they did all the royal family. I would imagine the royal family appreciated it as well. <laughs> Mrs. Thatcher <laughs> with her cigar and her pinstripe suit. She's ordering stuff, you know, and she's saying, I'll have a steak. And the cabinet were all there, and the waiter says, What about the vegetables? And she says, Oh, they all have the same. Oh, naughty. We love it. Satire. That's what McClure gets away with. Satire. Uh, once we're allowed holidays again, I can't wait to get back up to the Cairn Gorms. So the wonderful Chris Wilmot Abbey Moore, in particular. A truly beautiful part of the world. I'm sure you'd agree, Scotty. Chris Wilmot, I travel up there most years. Uh, do you know Rothy Marcus? Do you know a little chapel, a little ruined chapel at Rothy Marcus? Tell me if you do. I'll tell you why. Thatcher was Satan on earth, says Minin. Um, only if you weren't a Tory, which covers, I suppose, most people. But she got in for 11 years, so they must have adored her. So you're calling her Satan on earth, but 11 years they've already voted her in. So... You know, I like Tony Blair and Gordon Brown. Yes, yes, I'm sure they liked each other as well. I'm sure they got on very well indeed. That's me off Facebook. Back onto YouTube. Your patter's better on YouTube. Oh, Gordon, I, I can't deny it, can I? <laughs> How's the picture, though? How's the picture? We need to get, um, although I've had a lovely, lovely um, recommendation from young J-Dog. The real one. And he was saying that um, he feels that uh, we can live stream on one, um, onto multi streams, just on one device. New to the show. Really enjoy the show. Great work. Keep it up. Bennett George. We thank you very much. Or George Bennett. Lovely to have you with us. The water relief. It's a beautiful drive between Fort William and Malig. Now, I haven't done that one, but I've heard great things. I would like to go to Malague, actually to Malague. How about a plague, a plague victim on the TV every night saying it was terrible, you couldn't get a haircut or a fortnight in Spain? Might put things in perspective. So there you are. Yes, interesting one, Ian429. You're a very advanced thinker. I do like your thinking. A live stream. Yes, so there you are, live streams, fantastic. Wonderful men and face, fantastic, the live stream. Tell 10 to tell 10, guys, we haven't shared a thing tonight. What are we all playing at, I ask you? I'll just have a wee kick round the corner here and see what's going on. I wonder where Kareem is tonight, slightly concerned, although he did uh, say he was going somewhere to walk the dogs. So there we go. That's our Kareem. He will no doubt turn up. Fantastic. I've not driven to Malig, but I've done the West Highland Line on the train several times. Is that when you go over the Glen Finnan Viaduct, Gordon Robertson? Did you feel like Harry Potter? There we go. Wonderful stuff. Right, let's get sharing. Let's find out what is what. Um, there we are. Fantastic. 
And um, what I'll do, I'll share, I'll need to um, grab a wee bit of chat here. I'll need to just move you guys for a second, if you don't mind. You'll be fine there. You're in safe hands. It's wonderful. Sean McCrory, Stuart McLennan. It's Gordon here. I've switched over, I've switched over to your Facebook stream for a wee change, says Gordon. Ian Kerr's there. Incredible, Gordon. Do you split your screen? Have you got a split screen? Remember the split screen? Uh, what car had a split screen? Come on. Fess up. Some of you will know it. I know you will know it. There we go. Right. Uh, I'll pop that up. And uh, what we'll do, guys, a little bit of sharing just to get us started. And if you can all do the same. I need more likes. I need about 10 likes. Fantastic. I thank you. Wonderful stuff. There we are. Right, that's gone out. That's wonderful. That's gone out already. So people will know because nobody knows we're on unless we tell them we forget that. Thank you, Catherine. Very helpful. What was all that about? Uh, yes, says the wonderful Gordon Robertson. The train stops on the viaduct so everyone can take in the view. And can you still get a 40 of the viaduct is it long enough for that uh, yes it's live sorry not good with technology new to this is bennett george don't worry bennett um a fair point of this think of 1979 britain scotty compared to the time mrs t left office what a thought folks i'm not a huge margaret fan before you start well ian quinn what she did do was grasp the nettle because everything up until the late 60s was really as it was from the Industrial Revolution. I can remember going to Oldham in 1980. All the chimneys were still standing uh, before our dear friend Fred Dibner got called in to take them down. Wonderful man. And, um, you know, things were kind of just as they were. And politicians weren't acting like movie stars. They just got on with it. You know, they were kind of fairly grey characters in the background, just getting on with running the country. You know, Jim Callahan, Harold Wilson, um, Alec Douglas Hume, these guys, Ed, Ted Heath. <laughs> they just kind of um, got on with it. You know, that was, uh, that was their carry on. There we are. And they were very, very clever people. You know, I hope we've got the same intellect as we had in those days. Uh, so there we go. What else have we got? Um, is this a live stream, says Bennett George. Yes, Bennett. Yes, absolutely. There we are. You'll be hearing that back in a couple of minutes time. Glenn Peacock, I had pie, jacket potatoes and cauliflower. What do you have for tea? The cauliflower is a beautiful vegetable. I like cauliflower and white sauce. Do you like cauliflower cheese? I used to be not good with cheese at all until I stopped drinking alcohol. And I could take cheese no problem. Isn't that interesting? So you make your own chemical mix inside you. Thank you, Catherine. Very helpful. So the wonderful Bennett George, who's just joined us. <coughs> I think several cars had split screens, but the old Morris Minor had one. I think Gordon Robertson, you're quite right. And the Morris Minor had a big sister called the Morris Six. And Alex, Alex, is he Alex, is he Gonis, who was the chief designer? Um, he actually um, designed part of the mini in my friend's house. I'll tell you the story. Gordon, are you from Leamington Spa? Says Minon Fatchi. Uh, mean on fact it might be in latin you're welcome bennett live 8 p.m and 10 p.m 8 uh, p.m till 10 p.m so the wonderful catherine raven looking after bennett thank you catherine would that be saint john the baptist church in rothy marcus scotty now i don't think so chris because it's a ruined chapel so it's a little old ruined chapel in rothy marcus and if you can tell me anything you know about that, I'll tell you the story. No, Minan, why are you asking? Is it nice? Says Glenn Peacock. Of course it's nice. He's just described it. Cauliflower. Beautiful jacket potatoes. 
and a pie. Beautiful. Hello, Scotty. Very happy to be watching your show. Julie Peckle, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You'll all hear your announcements a little bit. Oh, my dears, I'm forgetting about you. You're over here. Robert Rovers visited Malig and Mora with the Sea Cadets when I was a wee boy. Lovely part of the country. Richard McCusker, Dinky Doo, Paul Sheridan, Dinky Doo, Alistair Bajack. Lovely to have you all with us. Fantastic. I'll just put you back in your original place in two seconds because what I'm doing is I'm doing a bit of sharing and I need to just geek round the corner for that. So there we are. Fantastic. We'll do our tweet later as well, guys. We want to know, let everybody know that we are live. Evening, Lord McClure, Dinky Doo, says the Archie 61. Archie, lovely to have you with us. Scotty, a VW camper was split left to right, but you mean a sports car? Horizontal screen, split screen, which hinged down. Very nice. Ian429, they did indeed. They flopped down these screens. And the it wasn't a split screen, but the earlier ones from the minor, they um, had a wind open windscreen, the Morris 8. They had a wind open windscreen, and I think the 10 had it as well. Scotty was men and asking me stupid things for. Maybe he just asks people stupid things, Glenn. I'll keep an eye on it. Glenn, have you let off gas? Uh, Julie Peckle, please do not cheek up to our, uh, our deeply and highly respected contributors. So come on, Julie, or otherwise it'll be bye bye, Julie. We don't want that. Chill out, Glenn. Stop telling the teacher you were the one that started talking about food. <laughs> Min and I'm from Glasgow, says Gordon Robertson. Yes, Min may be asking silly questions to people. Let me get this shared, guys. You're a distraction. A distraction. I can't get stuff shared for all your carry-on. Um, there we go. What am I doing? I'm sharing to uh, Scotty McClue's big page. The Scotty McClue page on Facebook. Guys, get on to Scotty McClue's page. Good evening, Scotty. Somewhat cloudy here in Fort William. Just glad it's a bit cooler, says Conor McBride. It's been in the past few weeks all this talk of the road to the Isles and Manning. I worked on the steam trains. Conor, that's fantastic. Wonderful Stan Boardman's watching one of our finest comedians in the country and a top man, Dinky Doo Stan. Hey, Lovely to hear from you. We love the bones of you, so we do. There we go. Fantastic. A night with Stan Boardman in the theatre is just a treat. Is that the ruined chapel in the middle of the lake? Says Chris Wilmot. Now, I don't know. It sounds to me, I don't know. It's in among the pine trees. And it's a wee ruined chapel at Rothy Marcus. And I'll tell you for why. Sorry, Gordon, I know your namesake from there. He was a good painter. Decorated good. Uh, so there we are, Minin. Evening, all. Hope you're well. Gives a wave, Scotty, my man. Wally Logan, always a wave for you. A privilege and a pleasure. Lovely to have you with us. Right, let's get sharing for goodness sake. Okay, guys, can you all share with all your Facebook people and all your um, YouTube people? Everybody that you know, get sharing. Fantastic. Hugh Beatty's with us. Thank you, do Hugh. Oh, some great jokes this morning in this morning's uh, stream. So get a hold of that, guys. Hello, Minion, says Julie. Uh, I think it was autocorrect that helped me with that mistake. Gordon, I'm quite sure it was. <laughs> I think you've been helped a couple of times by autocorrect. <clears throat> Mind you, you've also been held up. Because uh, you say some great things and autocorrect turns it into nonsense, you know. That sort of, we don't want that. Everyone who got to buy their council house at a massive discount owes that to Thatcher. Charles McLaughlin, you've made a very good point. I know families that bought a three-bed house for six and a half K. Now, come on, sober up, everybody. I've offered them seven without seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> old McClue, old McClue, funny. Scotty was referring to when the men and asked if I liked Cocoa Pops and Custard Mixed. I asked him if it was nice. So there we are. I see, yes. Hello, Julie, says Minnin. Uh, you look nice, says Minnin. 
to Julie. Uh, how can you see her? Yes, I'm in an enjoying Cocoa Pops with custard in my John Major painting. <laughs> good one, Glenn. Well done. That's the way to treat that nonsense. Scotty, when were the good old days and what happened? Well, the good old days are watching Scotty McClue. That's the good old days. Who's given me a lot of money here? I'm just going to check you out. Uh, Min and House things, have you had Copa Pops with custard and are you buying me a John Major painting? Paddle steamers, water leaf, says Ian 429. Yes, Minnan has given me £1.99. Just found this tonight and love it. Minnan, we thank you. Minnan or Minong. Minon in fact, Minong would be the French. The Latin would be Minon Fache. There we are. Hello, Scotty, back from Dindins. J Dog, time, you're spot on. Two minutes later than we'd thought. I bet you came back at 8.35, but you didn't tell us till 8.37. Huh. I shall have to visit this chapel the next time. I'm fortunate enough to be up and have you more. I can't wait to hear the story, Scotty. I love my history. Chris Wilmot, I'll tell you what it was. Um, you remember me talking about Lord Reith, not my Labrador, but Lord Reith of the BBC, who founded the BBC, a Glasgow man, a Glasgow Academy man. Um, he also went to a Holt School um, down south. And um, remarkable, remarkable man. Not a great husband or father, unfortunately, but a remarkable man. And uh, Lord Reith's ashes were scattered in the wee ruined chapel at Rothy Marcus. How about that for a bit of information? So there you go. His daughter, and I think it may have been the Director General of the BBC at the time, went up with Lord Reith's ashes to scatter them at Rothy Marcus in the ruined chapel. So there we go. I'll check up on that who was with his daughter, uh, Marista, a lovely lady, met her, very nice lady, uh, but she had a very tough childhood with her father. Uh, welcome back, J Dog, the watery leaf, you cool, says Artie Daly. Artie Daly, last time I ate Cocoa Pops, it didn't end well. Did you get Bang Pops? So there we are, the Cocoa Pops, I love them, but they do make the milk go brown. Um, last time, uh, thank you, Catherine, hope you're well. This is J Dog Gaming, fantastic dinky do. Thank you very much for the one ninety nine. I'll tell you what you've done. You've tapped the dollar bill, either at the top, or the bottom. Of the super chat, is that right? That's what you've done. I shall see. Yes, I see what you've done. Some people have got it at the top, and some people have got it at the bottom. Guys, who told me that on the super chat, the dollar bill? I can't see it. Who told me it was at the bottom and some have got it at the top? Is this the truth? Is this correct? Well, it must be the truth because I heard it from a very good source. In fact, the one at the bottom, I think I heard from Gordon Robertson. So, you know, you can't get better than that as a source of reliability. Uh, pains me to say it, of course, but there we are. I always like to try and pull Gordon up if I uh, see that he's missed a bit of important information. Uh, wonderful Shujat Ali, one of our finest businessmen, is watching. Do you know, Shujat, I was just thinking about you the other day and hoping you were well and still involved in your projects. Hugh Beatty, Dinky Doo, and Dinky Doo to our wonderful stand boardman, huge star, Lee Sinclair. In fact, you should watch Stan Boardman on YouTube, guys. Outstanding. Dave Anderson's watching. Another outstanding man. Paul Sheridan's with us. Richie McCusker. Uh, so there we go. Fantastic. Lee Sinclair has joined us live on Facebook. Tremendous, all you beautiful Facebookers and YouTubers. Uh, I, Catherine Scotty's jokes were great this morning. For a change, brackets, close brackets. I the grammarian, aren't you, Gordon? I the grammarian, I say. Guys, I need more likes. Like, like, like to like, like to like to like. Come along now. Any daft is on tonight. Uh, J Dog, a couple of border cases, I would say. 
Guys, J Dogs just asked a very important question. I have question. Have there been any dafties on tonight? I think we need to face up. Guys, if you're on um, Facebook and you want to join us on YouTube, you're very, very welcome. So it's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. There's the wonderful Jane McDonald, an outstanding lady. Wonderful. A lady who just works and works for the good of humanity all the time. There we are. Um, evening, Paul Sheridan, my friend. So there you are. Evening, absolutely. Thomas Peden, lovely to have you with us. John Marshall, are you here tonight? Thomas Peden, is it possible John Marshall would have cheeked up to McClue? I just wanted to check. There was a slightly strange announcement, but I think he said his father sometimes gets a hold of his account or something. So much flirting, says Artie Daly. Well, don't flirt, Artie. Uh, Gordon, it was that contagious laugh. I'm trying not to think about it. Don't start, Catherine Raven. There we are, and there'll be more jokes. I'm not liked yet. I'd better go and do it. Absolutely, Ian49. But please don't put yourself out, but I know you're not afraid of work. So if it's no trouble, if everybody can like the stream, there we are, like it. And um, I didn't know that his ashes were scattered there, Scotty. Was that a particularly favourite spot of his? Thank you for sharing. Yes. When John Reith was a little boy, his father was Dr. George Reith, Doctor of Divinity. And they stayed in a huge house in Lindoch Street, just up off the Woodlands Road in the park area of Glasgow. And his father was the minister of, was it Kelvin Grove Free Church, I think. It was a, a huge big church. It actually went on fire. And they were um, at school, James Bridey and all these wonderful people he was at school with were baiting him, you know, <laughs> saying, oh, arson's a terrible thing, John. And they were starting to bait poor John. Anyway, um, the, 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 the church got burned down, but Dr. Reith, he was a remarkable man, and Reith loved his father, he adored his father. Uh, anyway, long story short, and his mother, absolutely adored his mother, long story short, they used to holiday at Rothy Marcus. I think they must have taken the train in those days. And he was so happy in his childhood at Rothy Marcus. Talked about it for the rest of his life. He loved Scotland. He loved Highland places. He stayed in Dunblane at one point. He stayed in Glasgow. He's, uh, his son farmed in Perthshire. Uh, things like that. You know, he used to go traveling around the country, he came to Ardrishig in Argyll. My mother remembers him sitting in the church at Ardrishig. So that sort of thing. Uh, I tell you, it's the bottom of my iPhone, or it's the bottom on my iPhone. Right, so Gordon Robinson was saying the dollar signs on the bottom on his iPhone, the bottom of Super Chat, but I believe it's at the top for the rest of you. Is that right? I don't know. That's your I'll tell now. You did tell us, Gordon Robertson. Fantastic. Guys, do you realize it's coming up to 45 minutes we've been on? We've been on 43 and a half minutes. On the mobile, it's on the bottom. Ah, right, J Dog. And it's on the top on a PC. Uh, Scotty, China has swine flu, I heard. Oh, my goodness me. We'll need to look into that, Archie. I shan't panic every day. I'll check it all out. Uh, it's the best thing around, Dominion, says Catherine Raven. It depends what YouTube you're in. I am at the app, and dollar sign is at the bottom. Ah, so Lee Fly 85's on the YouTube app, and the dollar sign's at the bottom. So there we are. Where did you click, Minon? Is this general chat, right? Um, this is general chat. It's not Tinder, says Glenn Peacock. Absolutely. We're on here for the chat, guys. We are what we are. People ask me, they go, oh, it's not like you're showing the wireless, Scotty. I say, no, it's not. Because, you know, we haven't got the facilities for that. So we, we're just having a chat. It's just beautiful people chilling out and having a chat. Scotty, have you moved your house about? I have water leaf. I gave it a spin round the day. It's a caravan, you see, so I had to go at the front and up. Ah! 
and on to the big uh, the big old jeep and swing it round so there we are fantastic there's barely room in here to swing your cell not sure about the one trying to hook up says uh, ian 429 the caravan uh, a lot of caravans hook up Arty, i was in still game my daughter had a part in it says magnus wonderful man magnus welcome scotty i'm not giving banter back but he's not biting min and chill out law so they are no you don't have to give any banter back glenn who did your daughter play magnus says Arty. hi scotty you mentioned politicians remember john smith andrew my mother taught john smith in sunday school she taught him the rabbit song that the late Jimmy Gordon, Lord Gordon of Strathplain, who was a great friend of John's, they were at university together, and they loved politics. Jimmy loved politics as well, and John was just a great guy. They are his daughter, of course, is uh, Sarah Smith in the BBC. Um, so there we are. And uh, my mother was taught by John Smith's father. They were Archie, Archie Harry. There we have the Smiths in Tarbert in Argyle. Fantastic. I played a red coat soldier in Rob Roy the movie. My cameo was to shoot Rob Roy from his horse. Fantastic time. I'm wondering if Rob Roy is the one with the fiddle tune in the bar. And it sounds to me like the fiddle tune might be a later tune. It sounds like Mrs. H.L. MacDonald of Donach, which was written on a train. So there wouldn't be any trains about when Rob Roy was made, but I'll check that up. Get the motion of the train, you see. A bit like a W.H. Auden's poem, Night Mail. This is the night mail crossing the border, bringing the check and the post to order. I don't recall who that was. Could you be more specific? Snow Games, my favourite programme, says Artie. I would have liked a wee cameo in Still Game, but um, I don't think nobody asked me. Come on, men, and only joking with you, says Glenn. Yes, come on, stop the carry on, guys. Told Winston to get off the stage. I missed 30 minutes of your stream, though. J Dog, you did, and as you know, it's punishment enough to miss a moment of McClue. More likes, please, guys. Like, 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 to like, like, to like, to like, to like. We like that. Dinky do Scotty. So the wonderful Robster Mary. I think on PC it's on the mid right side of the screen. Oh, this is the dollar sign. There we are. Is this the one that um, has just been tapped by Minin, who sent me? That's not a hot chocolate. That's a slightly different. Hot chocolate's PayPal, I think. So there we are. I think everyone should donate to this man. Minin Fessy, you'll see lovely things. Uh, let's all give him a pound, says Minin. But I do have to say that Scotty McClue is free at the point of enjoyment. There we are, absolutely free. Um, Magnus, I know what part you're talking about now. I'm not an expert in the new episode yet. That's great, matey. So there we are. Is there a new still game, or is that it? Hi, Scotty. I meant to say John Smith, the leader of the Labour Party, who died very young. How things would have been if he was the Prime Minister? John Smith popped in to see Andrew Neil, and he said to Andrew Neil, he said, Andrew, I'm going to be the next Prime Minister of this country. Lovely man, John Smith. He would have been fantastic. A man of real integrity. That's Argyle for you, there you see, folks. A Scot. So there we go. And I remember him being on, um, I think it was Question Time with Sir Robin Day. And some snooty English lady had said, well, you're a, I can't remember what she called him. You're a barrister or something. And he said to her, no, I'm an advocate or whatever it was. I can't remember. And she said, oh, well, um, I don't know what the difference is. Or it's the same thing. I said, no, I can assure you it is not. And she said, well, I don't know. He said, well, I'd be very happy to tell you all some, something like that. He really had her on the ropes with it. Do you know what I mean? He was just a very straight talker uh, and full of fun as well, of course. You know, that sort of thing. Minnan, I was only joking about you when you asked me if I like Cocoa Pops and Custard and the John Major painting. I was just joking around you, that's all. I'm not causing trouble, says Glenn. 
Glenn, do not worry. Don't give it a thought. There we are. Evening, Artie. Do you still get parts on TV? Says Minong. Cameo is what Bernie got. Magnus, yes. I always think just a, sh a, a quick shot of Scotty McClue, probably in the Klansman with Bobby and the two of them. All the likes for Scott, says Minong. Thank you very much. Yes, if everybody can give us a like, that would be terrific. I could do, do another half dozen of these thumbs up. Like the stream, I say. Have you all shared? Want to hear cut, says Les Porter. You do, Les. Well, you know, just see what you can. Put it up in a bun. Did you hear about the new restaurant called Karma? There's no menu. You get what you deserve. <laughs> you get your just desserts. I love it, J-Dog. Well done. The one I love is when some people say, um, oh, I feel sorry for some people in life because they don't get what they deserve. Some people say, well, I wouldn't feel sorry for a lot of them because in some cases it's a good job. <laughs> good job they don't get what they deserve. So there we are. Ian429, top man. Scotty, have you ever listened to Hamish Napier, The Railway? Nothing finer to listen to on a train. No, I haven't, Ian429. What are we talking here? You know, it's fantastic. I do like watching. Um, who's the guy? Former Conservative MP, and he does the railways. Michael Portillo. And I do enjoy his railway programs. And the old railway guide. I think I've got one of these. Uh, gives us scraps, says Les. No, we're not giving you any scraps. You've had enough. You've, you'll spoil your tea. Uh, j Dog been doing well. Thank you. How are we? Fast Pat. Scott, is that your bonnet from Ilkley? Chris Wilmot, it is. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, it's not. Uh, I don't think so. No, this is a Hogs of Fife. Uh, you know, and the Ilkley one, I'm sure, was a local Ilkley bonnet, a Yorkshire bonnet. This place is unnerving for newcomers, Minnan. Never be unnerved because Scotty's here. So you can always chat to me. And you can grass anybody up if they're giving you any nonsense. That's what we all do. We all grass each other up. If there's any nonsense, that's great to hear that you're doing well. And I'm good. Thanks, Fast Pat. I feel like there's a cult going on there. No, no. You mustn't think that, Minnan. You see, you're just new to it. And people have been around a long time. And you're welcome. People are joining us all the time. Do you know, when I used to do the radio phone-ins, I would have perhaps anything up to 12 million people could have been listening to a program when we put the big radio stations together. And folk used to phone up and they say, it's all your pals that ring. It's all your friends. You know them. You feel strange ringing because you know you know everybody that phones. I thought, it's just nonsense. Do you know what I mean? It's just we're, we're all thoroughly decent human beings on here. Um, so there we are. John Prescott getting egged. Oof, Minnan, yes, remember. I think uh, I think he dealt with that at the time. Summary justice. TV's dead in the water. I just phoned the TV license today and told them, no, I don't need a license. I can't stand it. It's a racket. Absolutely nothing on it. Channels don't even start at 10 a.m. That's why you're better watching Scotty McClure on YouTube and telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Wonderful Susan Forrester join us. Paul Francis Carroll, thine be the glory. Yes, I shall try it for you, Paul. Right, on the organ, have we time? Wonderful Paul Francis Carroll, William Kelly, Dinky Do, Jeff Leighton. Right, Paul, I'll I'll give you that on the organ. Hang on, guys. Paul Francis Carroll has requested Thine Be the Glory. Now, this is not for the faint-hearted, I can tell you. All right, so here we go. Are we ready? This is for you, Paul Francis Carroll, on the old pipe organ.
Paul Francis Carroll, what did you think? Was that your version? Did we take it at the right pace? Yes, I quite like that one, my stoso. Glenn's intimidating me. Min and stop it. Glenn does not intimidate anybody. Finish the lyric, MC Monty, on the mic. I pledged a pound as a joining fee. You did indeed, and we thank you. The license, the TV license, won't contact me for two years. No time for it, says Catherine. Absolutely. There we are. Mac Smelly, that's my name. Evenings is Nationwide Coin Hunt. Lovely to have you with us. Nationwide Coin Hunt. Top man. Ian 429, folk music from Hamish. The railway uses the motion and sounds of trains along with the emotions of a journey weaved in and out to the music. He's also done the river and the woods. Similar effect. Very good. Love the sound of that. Fantastic. Bonnie Matzel says, lovely. Thank you, Bonnie. Paul Sheridan, a spiffing rendition of Thine Be the Glory. Nicola Tom, Dinky too. So there we are. Catherine TV has corrupt my opinion. Bring back Bill and Ben. Watch with Mother and Cracker Jack. These were the ones, Cracker Jack. I was in the shop one day and I didn't have a bag and I'd got my shopping piled up. This is true. It's not a joke. And um, she says, are you sure you don't want a bag? I said, no, I'll be all right. I said, but, you know, I might end up in Cracker Jack. <laughs> and uh, she got it. She was old enough to get it. Three minutes left. Give us a beat. Did you take a note of those websites I gave you? I did, G-Dog. Thank you. Yes, I shall get into all that. I finally cut ties with someone who was dragging me down mountain climbing with a friend. It's hard. Robster Mary. Night, Scotty. Great show. That was nice, Scotty. That's an Easter favourite, Scotty. Brilliant, says Andrew. Moustache, Scotty. Uh, early start as always in the morning says Chris Wilmot this is why we're finishing at 9 Chris thank you for sharing the Rothy Marcus story and thank you for putting a smile on my face take care and dinky do dinky do to you la SpaceX launch in T12 when Scottish programs finish Scotty dinky do big man if there been any misconception I apologise hope you're well enjoy the Scotty program take care Scotty see you tomorrow thank you J-Dog top man interesting Stuart Clark they are launching rockets nowadays like it's child's play. Well, it's not rocket science, is it? I mean, my goodness. Right, we have to go. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we all ready? Carmack McCusker, Matthew Ritchie. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Matthew. Matt Finley's watching. Uh, there we are. Matthew Ritchie's getting Alan to lock up. We're off, guys. We have to dash. Remember, we're on 8 o'clock every evening and 10 o'clock every morning during lockdown. Live streaming, fantastic. Right, are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Cheerio, my love. Stick great care of yourselves. Stay fabulous. Look after yourselves. Remember, love being you. It's a wonderful thing to be. And dinky do. Good night, Scotty. Dinky do, big man. Dinky do, Glenn. Good night, everybody. Take care, Scotty. See you tomorrow. Says the world lovely. Catherine, Raven. There we are, and dinky-doo. See you tomorrow, Catherine, says Robster Mary. That's it. ta -ra -las. <laughs>